Hello everyone, welcome back. This video shows you how to crochet a bag using rover stitch. The materials required are 4 ply acrylic yarn, any two colors, 50 grams each, 4 mm crochet hook, stitch markers, scissors, and a blunt needle. Let's begin our project by making a slip knot. After completing our slip knot, oak chain 37. Now we have completed working our 37 chains. For the round one, work one half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So into the third chain work one half double crochet and in the top of the half double crochet place the marker. Now work one half double crochet into the next 33 stitches. Now we have completed working our 33 half double crochet into the last chain work 3 half double crochet that is into the last chain we are going to work an increase. So after completing 3 half double crochet place marker in top of the first half double crochet. After placing the marker turn the work, skip the first loop. And into the next loop, work one half double crochet. And into the next 32 stitches, work one half double crochet. Now we have completed working our 33 half double crochet. There will be one loop left alone. Work two half double crochet into the last loop. After working two half double crochet increase, place the marker in top of the first half double crochet. After placing the marker, remove the next marker and work a slip stitch. So this will be the end of our first round. For the next round, work a chain 2. Into the same chain space, work an increase. So 2 half double crochet into the same chain space. After completing the 2 half double crochet, place the marker in the first half double crochet. After placing the marker, now we are going to work 1 half double crochet into the next 33 stitches. Now we have completed working 1 half double crochet in 33 stitches and also now we have reached our marker, remove the marker and we are going to increase into the next 3 stitches. So work 2 half double crochet and place the marker in the first half double crochet and into the next stitch we are going to increase so work 2 half double crochet. And again we are going to make an increase into the next stitch. So work 2 half double crochet. Here we have worked an increase in 3 stitches. And now we are going to continue working 1 half double crochet into the next 33 stitches. Now we have completed working our one half double crochet into the next 33 stitches. Now again we are going to remove the marker and we are going to work an increase. After increasing 
We are going to place the marker in the first half double crochet and into the next stitch we are going to work a two half double crochet that is an increase. So here we are going to increase in two stitches. After completing our increase remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the next round, chain 2, work one half double crochet into the same chain space and place the marker in top of the half double crochet and into the next stitch we are going to work an increase so work two half double crochet into the next stitch After completing our increase, continue working one half double crochet into the next 33 stitches. Pause the video, continue working one half double crochet into the next 33 stitches. Now we have completed working our one half double crochet into the 33 stitches. Remove the marker and work one half double crochet. After completing our one half double crochet, place the marker. And in this round, we are going to increase in every second stitch. That is, the next stitch we are going to work an increase. And again, one half double crochet into the next stitch. And again into the next stitch we are going to work an increase that is 2 half double crochet. Into the next stitch we are going to work a 1 half double crochet. And into the next stitch we are going to work an increase so work 2 half double crochet. Into the second half double crochet place a marker. Now we are going to work one half double crochet into the next 33 stitches. Now we have completed working our 33 half double crochet. Now remove the marker and here we are going to work an increase into the second stitch. So into the very first stitch work one half double crochet and place marker in top of the first half double crochet and into the next stitch we are going to work an increase so work two half double crochet again into the next stitch we are going to work one half double crochet into the last chain we are going to work an increase that is two half double crochet now we are in the end of the round three Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Now for the round 4, work chain 2 and one half double crochet into the same chain space and place the marker in top of the half double crochet. And this round we are going to increase in the third stitch. So we have completed our first half double crochet. Into the next stitch work one half double crochet and into the third stitch we are going to work an increase. Into the third stitch work two half double crochet. After completing our increase from the next stitch we are going to work one half double crochet into the next 33 stitches. Pause the video continue working one half double crochet until you reach the 33rd stitch. Now we have completed working our one half double crochet in 33 stitches. Remove the marker. Here we are going to work an increase in every third stitch. So into the very first chain work one half double crochet. Into the second stitch we are going to work one half double crochet. Into the third stitch we are going to work an increase. So two half double crochet. Now we are going to repeat. 
one half double crochet into the first stitch one half double crochet into the second stitch and two half double crochet into the third stitch so in this round we are going to increase in the third chain so again we are going to repeat one half double crochet one half double crochet and now remove the marker and work and increase that is two half double crochet now we have completed our increase in every third stitch turn the work from here we are going to work one half double crochet into the next 33 stitches pause the video and continue working one half double crochet until you reach the 33rd stitch Now we have completed working our 33 half double crochet. Now remove the marker and now we are going to work an increase in every third stitch. So work one half double crochet again one half double crochet into the third stitch we are going to work two half double crochet and now we are going to repeat the same pattern one half double crochet one half double crochet and into the last chain we are going to work an increase two half double crochet now we are in the end of round four remove the marker and work a slip stitch Now we have completed our base. For the next round, chain 2 and work one half double crochet into the back loop of same stitch and place marker on top of the half double crochet. In round 5 we are going to work in back loop of each and every stitches. So from the next stitch work one half double crochet into the back loop. Like this continue working one half double crochet into the next 88 stitches. Now we have completed working one half double crochet into the back loop of 90 stitches. Remove marker and work a slip stitch. Now work chain 1, cut the extra and pull the yarn out. In this round we are going to insert a new color yarn by making a slip knot. You can insert in any chain. Now for the next round we are going to work a chain 3 and into the same chain space we are going to work 2 double crochet, chain 2 and 1 double crochet. So chain 3 will be considered as our first double crochet. After completing our last DC, now we are going to skip 4 stitches below, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Into the 5th stitch we are going to work 3 double crochet, chain 2, 1 double crochet. So into the same stitch we are going to work 3 double crochet, chain 2, 1 double crochet. Now again we are going to skip 4 stitches 1, 2, 3 and 4 and to the 5th stitch we are going to work 3 double crochet, chain 2, 1 double crochet. Like this 
continue working the same pattern throughout the round 6. Now we are in the end of round 6. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. In this round we are going to slip stitch in the top of chain 3. Again we are going to slip stitch in, into the next 3 stitches. 1 2 and 3. So third stitch will be in the chain 2 space. So for the next round, continue working a chain 5. Chain 3 will be considered as one double crochet. And into the same chain space, we are going to work a 3 double crochet. After completing our 3 double crochet into the next chain 2 space, we are going to work 1 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet. So in this round we are going to work in chain 2 space. Now we have completed working our 3 double crochets. Work 1 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet like this into the chain 2 space continue working 1 double crochet chain 2 3 double crochet pause the video and continue working i will be meeting you in the end of round 7 Now we are in the end of round 7, slip stitch in the top of chain 3. Into the next chain 2 space work a slip stitch. Now for the next round work chain 3 and 2 DC, chain 3 will be considered as our first double crochet and work a chain 2, 1 DC into the same chain space. Again in this round we are going to work in chain 2 space. So into the next chain 2 space continue working 3 double crochet, chain 2 and 1 double crochet. This round is similar to the round 6 that we have worked earlier. Now we are in the end of round 8, slip stitch in the top of chain 3.
after slip stitching into the next three stitches we are going to slip stitch so this is the repetition of round 7 so we are going to slip stitch into the next three stitches after slip stitching we are going to work chain 5 chain 3 will be considered as our first double crochet and into the same chain space we are going to work 3 double crochet again into the next chain 2 space we are going to work the same pattern 1 double crochet chain 2 and 3 double crochet so into each and every chain 2 spaces continue working 1 double crochet chain 2 3 double crochet this pattern is 2 row repeat so for your desired height Continue working the round 7 and round 8. Pause the video. Keep working the round 7 and round 8 for your desired length. By repeating the pattern from round 7 and round 8, I have reached the round 18. So in round 18, we are in the end. So slip stitch in chain 3. Work chain 1 and cut the extra yarn. From the next row we are going to add a new color. By making slip knot we can add the next color yarn into the place where we have done our slip stitch. For the next round start with chain 2 and work one half double crochet in same chain space and place marker in top of the first half double crochet. After placing marker work one half double crochet into the next two stitches. So first one and the second chain and into the chain 2 space work two half double crochet. So into the chain 2 space we are working 2 half double crochet. We are going to skip the next double crochet. So like this continue working 1 half double crochet into the next 3 stitches and work 2 half double crochet into the chain 2 space. Again skip the next double crochet and into the next three stitches work one half double crochet and into the chain two space work two half double crochet pause the video and continue working the half double crochets in the chains and spaces now we are in the end of round 19 remove the marker and work a slip stitch For the next round, chain 2 and work 1 half double crochet into the same chain space and place marker on top of the half double crochet and work 1 half double crochet into the next 89 stitches. Now we are in the end of round 20, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Now we are going to place the markers for the handle. So measure 3.5 inches and place marker in the stitches in both the side of the bag. For the next round, start with chain 2 and work 1 half double crochet in the same chain space and place the marker on top of the half double crochet.
and till the marker continue walking one half double crochet now we have reached our marker so remove the marker and walk one half double crochet after completing the half double crochet walk chain 60 so for the handle we are going to work 60 chains if you want somewhat big size or small size handle you can increase or reduce the chains after completing the chain remove the next marker and skip the chains below and work one half double crochet after completing the half double crochet continue working one half double crochet till you reach the next marker Now we have reached our next marker so walk one half double crochet and again or chain 60. Now we have completed our chain 60 so remove the next marker and skip the below chains and walk one half double crochet into the same chain. Again, continue walking one half double crochet until you reach the next marker. Now we have reached our next marker, so remove it and walk a slip stitch. For the next round, begin with chain 2 and walk one half double crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the half double crochet and continue walking one half double crochet in each and every stitches. Now we have reached our end of the round so remove the marker and work a slip stitch and for the next round work chain 2 and one half double crochet into the same chain space and place the marker and into the next chains work one half double crochet. So for the next two rounds I am going to work half double crochet. You can skip or continue the same pattern in the end work a slip stitch chain on and cut the extra yarn so this will be the end of our project weave in all the extra yarns so friends i hope you really enjoy my video if you are new to my video please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for the notification thanks for watching bye bye and take care